Okay, this is a uh, decop. Uh, I have a, a story time that y'all been waiting on for a while. Uh, I have a migraine, that's why I didn't, uh, I wanted to let y'all know that I didn't do my uh, decop uh, after dark last night. I'm going to try and uh, do it tonight. I may not be up to par tonight, tonight like I've been, um, like I have been, but uh, I'm going to try and do it tonight. But here goes um, one of my law enforcement um, after dark story times. Um, I was off work, and as usual, um, I was called in to sit on a patient. And uh, this patient um, wasn't a patient, I mean. Uh, it was a, a, um, a suspect. It, was, it wasn't a suspect. It was an um, a, uh, inmate. Uh, and this inmate, um, as when I, I had to meet them at the um, hospital, um, and normally, if I have two, if he's at the hospital, it's normally because he's uh, sick or he's been injured uh, by the police or he has a illness or something. Um, or he's been injured and um, or he has uh, the illness. Um, he may have high blood pressure or his blood, blood pressure should have been up or his sugar or something like that. Um, and uh, if he goes to the jail and his blood pressure is up or whatever, he, he can't go into the jail. Uh, he has to go to the hospital first. Um, uh, so this particular uh, uh, inmate he, um, what they told me when I made it to the hospital is that he was blind, okay, and that's all I knew, that he was blind, so I uh, met him at the hospital, I switched out uh, handcuffs with him, on him. So I just, uh, I sat there, and it was um, sort of like over in the morning, might have been 12 midnight or something, so I sat there with him, patiently waiting for them to uh, uh, see him, and um, I didn't really uh, talk to him, uh, I, you know, I found out his name, and they had told me that he keeps getting up trying to leave or just jumping up. So he, he kept doing the same thing and I kept telling him was to sit down. Um, and one thing you don't want him to, uh, you don't want him to do is getting up and you're not paying attention. So he kept getting up and I would get up and tell him to sit down. Now as far as I knew, he was actually blind, okay? And that's what they told me. And they also told me that he had been uh, pepper sprayed, okay? So I, did, I didn't know if he, if he was actually blind and they pepper sprayed, okay? Um, so every time he'd get up, I would say, hey, sit down. And I would grab him by, by his shirt or shoulder and sit him down. And he kept doing this to the point that I was irritated. I, and so I said, sit down. I would grab him and I would jerk him down. And he did this crazy mess over and over until I got irritated. So I would grab him and I would yank him down. He did it over and over again. So I'm sitting there, and yeah, I'm sleepy because 
they woke me up out of bed. Uh, okay, so I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. Waiting and I'm waiting. And he gets up and he starts to walk off in handcuffs. And I go and I get, I grab him and I bring him back. And he does it. He gets, you know, and he goes, he gets a little way down down the hall. Because I'm sitting here and I'm, because I'm reading. And the people uh, that's sitting around, and there's an officer, and they point, and there he goes. <clears throat> He's a little ways from where I was sitting. So I go, and I grab him, and I, I pull him back down to where I was sitting. To where we were sitting, so I changed my seat because normally I don't want to sit that close to him because I have and so I don't want him sitting close to that close to me. Okay, so but this time I put him, I put him across from me, uh, <clears throat> so he's sitting next to me. Not really next to me, but across from me. So I'm sitting there and I'm looking at my phone. I'm looking at him. Look, and uh, so I go and I get I get him and I sit him across from me. Then I um <clears throat> I grab him. I sit him down. I mean, I yank him down. So. Then here it goes, and I'm looking at. I said, "Sit down and don't get up again." So then I goes, um, I get him, and uh, and I'm, 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 I'm thinking to myself, "Okay." I forgot he can't he can't see me. He, he, he cannot he cannot see me, so I don't know. He can't touch. He, he 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 cannot see me, so all this hand motion I forgot he can't see me. So here I go. He can't uh, hush. He can't. Uh, he can't. He can't see me. So uh, I forgot. So what I do? What I did? I I stopped looking at my phone and I'm looking at him and I'm thinking. I'm. I wonder. Can he really see me? I don't know. I don't know if he can really see me. If he's really blind or not. So. Um, I'm looking at his paperwork. Okay, I don't see anything on his paperwork if he's really blind or not. So I get, um, I'm really, um, I started, I'm waiting on him, I'm waiting on him. And he said that they they sent him in a little bit. So, okay. And I'm still kind of sleepy because they woke me up. To, to come in to see him. Uh, they woke me up to come in and sit on him. So I'm sitting here. I'm waiting and I'm waiting. And all of a sudden, this guy just he gets up so it walks off. And I'm a little pissed because I've been telling him to sit down. And he gets up, and he gets up. I tackled him, and when when I tackled him in where he was, there's a one of those uh, medicine uh, uh, carts. It has all the medicine in in this cart that the nurses use, and they used to uh, they use it the top part to write on. And the medicine is in the other parts of it. 
Well, it's behind him. I tackles him. I don't know what makes me do what made me do it other than I'm pissed at him because I've told him fifty million times to sit his behind down. I tackles him. And I t throw him over this cart. Me and him both goes over. And there was people in this little uh, waiting room. And he's handcuffed behind you. He's, he's handcuffed. And everything go flying off this cart. And I'm thinking to myself, but only after me and him flies over this cart and the cart goes flying down, that I have just tackled a man that's handcuffed behind him. I've just tackled a man that's blind. But I didn't care. <laughs> I told his ass to sit down. So, and the people, and the people in the waiting room was going like, this officer needs help. This officer needs help. I said, no, I, I don't need any help. I don't need any help. <laughs> it was hilarious. After the fact, though, I, I yanked this up off of that floor and grabbed him and I threw his ass in the in the one of those seats and I said and I and when I yanked him up I yanked him up by his collar and I basically threw him in the seat and I said I said sit your down and don't get up again because you can tell by the irritated as hell I'm guessing he was blind because he didn't give me any expressions <laughs> and, and it was like uh, uh, <laughs> he didn't get no expression and uh, um, it was like I guess people who ran and would say ran uh, to some other officers and said, said this officer back here needs y'all help to think. And uh, so I had some other officers came back down. I said, that's okay, that's okay. You get, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. And uh, they kind of like helped pick the, picked up the, the medicine cart. Um, and then, and, uh, and uh, this, uh, the, the, the inmate yeah, he was good because uh, he was he was sitting down where I put him, and from that point on, he didn't get up again until the nurse uh, said the nurse. After that, the nurse uh, it was about five minutes. She and she came back and said, "Okay, we'll see, we'll be seeing y'all in about five minutes," and they did. After the incident um, was about five minutes, and uh, we were seen, and uh, and then after that, that, that uh, inmate was uh, taken back to jail, and then I was able to go back home, and that was the end of that. <laughs> so it was it was short story, but. Uh, it was quite interesting. And uh, after that, I did laugh at myself because um, there I was. I tackled a blind man handcuffed behind his back. Um, <laughs> yes, I was quite embarrassed uh, because <laughs> I
tackled the blind man. Um, a blind man uh, with hand that was handcuffed behind his back. Um, yeah. Um, so that was the end of that story time. Uh, so, um, I've had some interesting uh, things I've done. But, uh, all right. Hope you enjoyed this one. It wasn't quite interesting as uh, the rest of my story times, but there it is. Hope y'all enjoyed. Have a good one.